you bought cookies for everyone? Oh yes, Fig Newtons. Say what you want about this strange little cookie, but there's an entire history behind the snack that few people know about. Here are 10 mouth-watering secrets of Fig Newtons. Cookies are named after a town in Massachusetts. Meet the Big Fig. Oh, hi there, Big Fig here on a desert island and down to my last Fig Newton's cake. There are a million different products in the world and most of them have some sort of mascot to help with their advertising and marketing. From Toucan Sam all the way down to the Kool-Aid Man, these mascots help create a recognizable and relatable face to an otherwise unremarkable product. While Fig Newtons certainly weren't the first product to adapt a mascot for marketing purposes, they do have the honor of employing one of the most unique. The Big Fig first appeared on the scene in the 1970s when Nabisco debuted a commercial starring the character. The Big Fig is exactly what it sounds like, a gentleman done up in a large pear-shaped costume that sang to the masses in a number of television spots. The Big Fig was one of the most iconic mascots of the time, and his little jingle was all the rage for love of Fig Newtons. Gooey, gooey, rich and chewy inside. Golden, flaky, tender, cakey outside. It took no time at all for this strange little mascot to become the talk of the town, and as a result, we still see artifacts of this obsession to this day, but more on that later. While he may not have been the first, and he certainly won't be the last, the Big Fig lives on as one of the greatest examples of what a silly costume can do for a brand. This is the one and only Fig Newton. 100 Years of Fig Newtons. Happy National Fig Newton Day. Most products cannot boast the staying power that Fig Newtons have enjoyed over the years. Manufacturers and producers are lucky to even get 10 years out of a flagship product. So when Fig Newtons came up on their 100-year anniversary, people knew that they had to celebrate in style. A festival was held in the cookie's honor. Harkening back to the golden age of the dessert, a live show was planned with everyone's favorite mascot, the Big Fig, serving as a master of ceremonies of sorts. Of course, there was no shortage of Fig Newtons at this festival. Attendees feasted to their heart's content on plenty of different varieties of the humble cookie. So many choices, Maggie. The festival was largely considered to be a huge success. Here's hoping that we don't have to wait another hundred years before the next festival comes around. Oh, it has been too long, my friend. First time here? Well, what are you waiting for? Take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Everyone else is doing it. Thanks so much. The town that Fig Newtons built. Is that where Fig Newtons come from? This should come as no surprise, but did you know that Fig Newtons actually come from a town in Massachusetts called Newton? It's true, the creator of Fig Newtons combined two things that were near and dear to his heart to create the iconic name for Fig Newtons. While a lot of people think that Isaac Newton somehow had something to do with the name of this strange cookie, the truth is actually much less spectacular than this. The small New England town never had a claim to fame, but all that changed when the Fig Newton went into production. Fig Newtons are named after a small town in Massachusetts. This may seem like a novel idea, but many other cookies of the time were actually named after other Massachusetts towns. Don't believe us? Well, look no further than Beacon Hill Cookies and Shrewsberries, both popular cookies of the time and both named after towns not far from Newton. The town of Newton has leaned heavily into their roots. They were the town that played host to the Fig Newton 100th anniversary celebration and loudly and proudly proclaimed themselves as the birthplace of the cookie. There were even talks at one point in getting Fig Newton's named as the state's cookie, but this was shot down for more popular alternatives. We have a variety of affordable options. Fig Newton started as a cake. It's cookie cake! While we mostly know Fig Newtons from the vivid yellow biscuit containers, the original iteration of this snack actually started as a cake. In fact, Fig Newtons were actually sold for over a hundred years before anyone ever referred to them as cookies. In truth, these strange little desserts are somewhere in between cookie and cake. They're made in large, rolled-out pastries that might resemble a pumpkin roll before they're cut down into the bite size that we all know. Neither crunchy or bite size. It goes to show that even when marketed as one thing, all it takes is a little brand awareness to change the course of a snack forever. What would you consider them? Are they cakes or cookies? Well, we're not one to judge, but whatever you call them, we hope you're calling them delicious. Tasty. Dropping the fig. 
We really should change that name. In a controversial move, the parent company of Fig Newtons decided to shake up their brand in a way that few people saw coming. It was the year 2012, and sales had been dropping steadily over the years. We're broke! To avoid stagnation, the brand decided to make a seemingly arbitrary change, but that didn't stop them from setting the internet on fire with their decision. Fig was struck from the title of these iconic cookies, and manufacturers boldly proclaimed them as simply Newtons. Many people scratched their head over this puzzling development, but it turns out there was a reason. Fig Newtons had historically catered to the elderly with their simple taste and iconic lineage, and this decision was made to allow the dessert to speak for itself. Newtons, as they are now known, wanted to open the door for other flavors, but unfortunately, with the previous title, they were painted into somewhat of a corner. This name change allowed the parent company to focus on new and innovative ways to bring this popular brand to consumers. Now you can try Newtons in a multitude of different shapes and flavors, including fruit thins and granola bars, as well as experience a wide variety of fruit flavors like strawberry, cherry, blueberry, apple cinnamon, raspberry, and mixed berry. This means that there are now brand new ways to experience this iconic snack, and who can be upset at new ways to enjoy old favorites. Tastes even better. Paul Hollywood's Homemade Fig Newtons. Paul would like you to make 12 fig rolls. Are you fans of the Great British Bake Off? If so, then this next entry will be right up your alley. It turns out that figs and the desserts that feature them are highly coveted in the British culinary space. It's an old dessert with even older roots in the grand history of the country. So it came as no surprise when Paul Hollywood decided to throw contestants for a loop with a Fig Newton challenge. He stated that Fig Newtons were his father's favorite biscuits. These are a favorite of my dad's. What may seem like a simple treat proved to be anything but as contestants struggled to present a dish that could satisfy Paul's sweet tooth. It turns out that these little cookies are actually quite labor-intensive, and even though simple, require a master's patience to perfect. In the manufacturing setting, Fig Newtons are created using a special piece of equipment called an extrusion press. Unfortunately, the extrusion press was nowhere in sight on the set of The Great British Bake Off, so viewers delighted in seeing contestants struggle to create this dish. Here's hoping that we can always retreat to the store if we run out of Fig Newtons. We're not so sure we'd be able to pull off creating them at home. What could go wrong? The once and future king of cookies. I'm a king. Even though Fig Newtons have fallen from grace a bit in the public's eye, there was a time when this little treat was considered one of the most popular cookies on the market. In 1991, about a hundred years after the cookie's inception, market reports showed that they were the third most popular cookies sold at major retailers. Naturally, this has much to do with the sheer pedigree and history of the snack, but we can't lay it all at the feet of marketing and branding. There's something iconic and one-of-a-kind about these cookies, and clearly consumers were reacting to them positively. Yeah, we like it. It's all right, I guess. Although sales have slowed in recent years, there will always be a special place for Fig Newtons on the pantheon of greatest desserts ever made. Who beat out Fig Newtons to claim the top spots, you might ask? Well, it turns out that the only two cookies more popular than Fig Newtons were Oreos and Chips Ahoy. While they may never reclaim their previous glory, Newtons will always have a prominent place on the shelf in the cookie aisle. We love your Fig Newtons. We will honor them and eat them proud. Celebrating a hundred years with a bang. I said a bang, bang, bangity bang. I said a bang, bang, bangity bang. We've already spoken about the gigantic celebration that the town of Newton held in order to honor their namesake snack. But did you know that a super-sized Fig Newton also graced the stage at this event? What better way to celebrate 100 years than with 100 inches of Fig Newton? The community came together to produce the mammoth dessert and made it a centerpiece of the festivities. There are shockingly few reports about the celebration, but we imagine it was truly momentous. I mean, how often do you get to create oversized versions of your favorite snacks. Batchy balls! The festival even brought in singer Juice Newton to perform. While you might have to wait another hundred years before we see the likes of this massive-sized dessert again, it's a comforting notion that the community that made Fig Newtons famous takes their dessert as seriously as they do. Not saying that they will, but if Bacon Indiana ever decides to host a celebration in the name of their namesake food,
food, we know exactly where we'll be. Bacon? Really? The British are coming. It's coming, Jerry, it's coming. We've talked about figs, cookies, and the origins of the two coming together, but did you know that this famous dessert was actually made most famous by the Brits? It's true that fig rolls and cookie crossovers have been fairly common in the British baking sphere, and the actual first iteration of the fig roll, or what would later come to be known as the Fig Newton, was actually created in Britain. It's true, while we would love to chalk this creation up to American confectioners, this strange little dessert comes to us from across the pond. A proper gentleman eats one cookie at a time. It's true that the U.S. will never own the lineage of this cookie, but they can be credited with bringing a strange little dessert to and beyond the cusp of greatness. Years of culinary tradition have put Fig Newtons in the hearts and homes of many people, but we can thank the British for popularizing the snack. Great things can come from small beginnings, and whether they originated in this country or that, Fig Newtons have truly taken on a life of their own within the culinary world. The Newtons. Before we get to the top spot, here's a little bonus. We talked briefly about the town of Newton and their desire to make Fig Newtons a truly iconic dessert, going so far as nominating the dessert for the state cookie. Well, if Fig Newtons aren't going to take that spot, who is? Well, it turns out that in 1997, the governor of Massachusetts was faced with a tough decision. What decision might that be? Well, he was faced with the hard choice of deciding what dessert would represent their great state. It came down to Fig Newtons and Nestle Toll House Cookies, which had enjoyed a healthy rivalry leading up to the decision. By a razor-thin margin, the governor, William Weld, decided that Nestle would take the top honor, and Nestle's Toll House cookies were named the state cookie. Time for a Fig Newton break. The first commercial appearance of figs. How did I never see this before? While figs have been enjoyed the world over for centuries, dating all the way back to ancient empires and civilizations, it took some time for the strange little fruit to be commercially accepted. In fact, we rightfully have Fig Newtons to thank for bringing this superfood to the forefront. It wasn't until the late 1900s that figs became widespread in the American diet, and likely many people have never even tried one in the base form. While most people still view them as a little more than the ingredient that comes sandwiched between the crumbly cookies. Figs contain all sorts of vitamins and minerals that we as humans require in our daily nutrition. I'm trying to eat healthy. They're an excellent source of calcium, copper, and play an instrumental role in promoting brain and mental health. Say what you want about the taste of figs, but they are a powerhouse in the nutrition department. While it's true that the humble fig has been in the shadow of their namesake cookies, we're here to tell you that figs deserve a little more attention than they've been given in the last century. They may not become your new favorite food, but they're a subtle and surprising way to inject a little nutrition into your daily diet. Here's hoping that figs get their day in the sun sooner rather than later. Our time will come, Nala. Check out more great videos. Just tap or click. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thanks.